to remove the axle, you will need to remove the center of the axle nut, red arrow. It's held on with a lot of force, 460 newton meters or 340 foot pounds. You will need a 32 millimeter axle nut socket. It's best to use a large impact driver, but if you do not have one, you will need a breaker bar with a long pipe extension and a friend to stand on the brakes while you break this loose. The axles can be removed from the 991 Gen 1 without removing the wheel hub or carrier. The axle is connected to the transmission, red arrow, and passes through the wheel carrier, blue arrow. Begin by safely raising and supporting the rear of the vehicle as well as removing the rear under tray. Need additional assistance with those tasks? Please follow the link provided at the end of this video. We have removed the brake system for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove anything other than what is described. We are also going to remove the air diverter to give us more room to work. Red Arrow. It's simple to do and takes moments. Simply unclip the two plastic clips from the rear, Red Arrows, and slip it off. You will need to disconnect the lower drop link, Red Arrow, to give you enough room to get the axle out. Insert a T30 torque into the stud on the drop link, Red Arrow, to keep it from turning, and then use an 18mm wrench to remove the nut. Move the drop link forward out of the way. Loosen and remove the axle nut, Red Arrow, and always replace this nut with a new one. If you are reinstalling the old axle, I always like to mark the position on the differential flange for reinstallation. Use a T55 torque and remove the six bolts and washers. The washers work in unison with two bolts. Spin the axle as you remove them for ease of access to the bolts and make sure the socket is well seated. Use a three-arm puller and push the axle out from the wheel flange. Work the axle down and out between the cross member and the diagonal support and do not drop it, it is heavy. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not put any grease on the threads of any bolts. Tighten the connecting link for the roll bar in three steps. Step one, tighten to 40 newton meters or 30 foot pounds. Then step two, tighten it in an additional 30 degrees. The tightening torques for the rear axle are axle to transmission side with M10 one fine threads, 90 newton meters or 67 foot pounds. Finally, torque the nut on the end of the axle to the wheel carrier to 460 newton meters or 340 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.